Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta, and this is something you, my dear subscribers and people who check out my videos, you've been asking this a lot. Finally, it's here. The Friedman IRX Dual Tube Preamp. Let's listen to the song first. I wrote inspired by this fantastic preamp, I must say, and also my latest ESP acquisition. This is a M1 custom from the 80s. I modded it a bit. Single EMG 81. Remove the volume from here to here. Original ESP Sinclair trim. Everything else is, is uh, original. On the song, I'm gonna use SD1 because that's just the way I like my Marshalls. Because you know, Friedman is basically a muddied marshal, and this one isn't an exception. I like it a lot. So let's listen to the song first with the SD1 on. I feel myself while I recorded the left rhythm guitar and lead, and then I doubled the right rhythm guitar afterwards. Then I'm gonna noodle a bit with and without SD, and then let's check out the IRX in more detail. All right, rock and roll.
Right, so there was the, the riffs and the solo, and you know, I bumped up there, but you know, that happens. <laughs> so yeah, with that, with that SD, as you heard, with these settings I'm having now, you know, it, it just tightens it, but let's take the SD off, because you can make this tight and, you know, add more gain without the SD, it's just the way I, I do things, I, I've been using SD1 and, and Marshall JZM 800 since 90s. The SD1 was my first overdrive pedal I ever bought and JZM 800 my first tube amplifier. So, and the, the Friedman stuff, you know, in general, they are muddied, you know, Marshalls. If I'm not wrong, I think uh, at least the BE head, and I feel this one, is uh, based on a, on a plexi, like a muddied plexi. I have a Muddied plexi there, a link, link in, in there and in, in below if you want to check out the video of what we did. But I feel like this is uh, like my Muddied, you know, 1959 hand wired 100W plexi, but just in, in a smaller enclosure, you know, there's no power amp, there's two channels, and maybe a tad more gain on, on tap than I have on my plexi, but <laughs> this is great. So, two channels. I'm now on the channel 2, and uh, there's tight switch and 3 cabins slash IRs you can choose. I use, use the, the center cabinet, which I believe is, uh, you know, an impulse response from the cabinet that uh, Dave Friedman uses, his favorite old, I think, Marshall cabinet he uses to, you know, when he voices and designs his amps. So I found it to be really good also. So, uh, yeah, let's stay on that cabinet and then let's check out the other cabinets on the song on the right guitar I, I actually used the first first cabinet just to get a little bit different tone but uh first let, let's check out the, the the knobs so uh first the volume that's the volume that's like output volume the way i've set set my you know this so that when it's 11 it's optimal level because it goes this is the input from the pedal board and this one is an TRS slash XLR cable that goes straight into my audio interface. And uh, 11 o'clock, it's the, you know, not perfect, but pretty good <laughs> level to, to hit, the, hit the audio interface without it clipping, with or without SD. Okay, then let's treble. <laughs> There's no presence control, but I, I feel it's not needed, since this treble is, is kind of smooth. You can add that, you know, Marshall High Silver if you if you want, like a lot, or then LS, or then, you know, if you prefer darker sound, it, it's doable. My treble was uh, the sweet spot around 2 o'clock, and then Mitch. They're cranked, it's you know that that good old plexi plexi bark. Mine was around two on the song also, kind of where it opens. And then uh, uh, the bass. This is very similar to, to Marshall Low End, so if you crank it, it's it's still not like overly, you know, it, it's just a, you know, smooth low end. I think I had it around 3 o'clock. You know, there where you just feel the... 
And then the gain. And I like it because, you know, there's two tubes, so when you put the gain, so the gain is basically a preamp volume, how hot you're hitting the preamp tubes. And when it's zero, you're not hitting the preamp tubes at all, so there's no sound. Like on a real amplifier. I mean, this is a real pre-amplifier with tubes. <laughs> I like it because when it's maxed, there's not just like insane amounts of gain, it's just a good amount of, you know, high gain. And then there's the tight switch, which does pretty much the same than what SD does. So it, it tightens the, the, the tone, so... So, if I'm cranking the gain, then I feel there's a need for the tight switch, otherwise the, the low end becomes a little bit because it distorts the low frequency. It still stays fairly tight, like a Marshall or Friedman. The way I use it with SD, the tight switch was off, then I backed off the gain. Very kind of this gets that and then adding SD. So it does pretty much the same like that. You know, the, my settings like like this. It's pretty much the same. I'm cranking the gain on here and then adding the the tight switch. I just like the feel of SD one. The the clipping diodes. It, it, it gives me certain. I really like the feel, how it feel, feels to play when you're hitting an amplifier. I mean, this is an amplifier. When you hit an amp with a overdrive, you know, SDG, Screamer, whatever is your you know, preferred choice, but you get this immediate kind of reaction and a small amount of compression, especially pinches and, you know, everything. <laughs> they really sing. Okay, and then there's boost, and on the side there's two volumes, or, or gain knobs, so you can, this is the boost volume, when I press here, now it's the boost, and then on the side here, you can determine how much gain it adds, and this is, you, you determine how much volume it adds. So you can use it as set it to unity level, and then you have just like, you know, more gain, a bit less gain, or then you can use it as your lead boost in a live application to put it a bit louder. You know, it adds more gain also. Okay, let's take the SD one off and now, now the boost without the SD. Let's crank the gain. Tight switch on. Boost off. Really like this boost because you can not only determine the amount of volume but also the amount of gain you're adding with, with it. Okay, then let's take out the boost off and the, the cabinet. So this one, what I'm using is the center one. I think it's, uh, like I said, Friedman's old uh, Marshall cabinet with green bucks, if I remember correct. And I think this first one is a mix of V30s and green bucks. <laughs> So you hear how much a cabinet or impulse response changes the tone. With this one I feel like backing the lows and adding some bite and cutting off the mids because the V30 gives it wall. This was 
the pretty much the sound I used on the right right side on, on the song. Then the third cabinet, if I remember correct, this was a uh, just a Marshall or whatever cabinet with the vintage 30 and just a single 57. Now here there's not that much low end. It's 57 doesn't give you that that uh, you, you you capture the bite of the cabinet and I, I pretty much always use another microphone with a 57 a ribbon mic like SC Electronics VR1 or X1 or then a Sennheiser MD421 or then two 57s one straight and one to the side to get the bottom because 57 alone it feels a bit thin unless if your amp has a lot of low and like 5150 you know you can get away with with uh, just a single 57 because the amp is so much low and you can dial that in more but now i'm <laughs> You can actually get good good low end if you crank the crank the low end with the V30 cap. Take the tie off. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it goes, comes a little bit. Boo, boo, boo. Okay. Back to the center. Bring it back. You get the upper upper bite because my, my favorite uh, speaker for plexi old school marshall is, is, is a cream back because it has more of that upper mid bite v30 is a bit smoother i mean a good v30 there are those v30s that are really bitey but what i have i have Celestin v30 is a marshall wind which is they're they're really smooth all just a lot of mids okay then let's check out channel one this is like a lower gain channel <laughs> Goes to this kind of you know old school you know J JTM 45 kind of thing, a bit warmer and, and so on. I'm using the the center cabinet, the cream back cabinet. I think it works the best with this channel. Let's check out the others. <laughs> yeah, definitely the the cream back cabinet, if I remember correct, that it was cream back, but whatever it is, the center is my favorite on both channels. <laughs> Then by lowering the gain and adding the volume Maybe dropping here from guitar And adding chorus clean sounds then let's take the chorus off you can get this mildly overdriven nice breakup and you just lower the volume a bit more channel will give you that ACDC good old plexi tone. Okay, great channel, back to channel 2. You get those muddy plexi tones and there's no overdrive now. Like I said, this works completely fine without SD, with the tight switch. That's just a uh, what I, it felt the most comfortable to me in, in the song, because the way I dial all those guitar sounds. So I I did the drum, drum mix first, I used Devin James beats, 
muddy them a, a little bit and, and then you know mix the drums and then recorded the bass and then when I have the had the bass and guitars you know like no bass and drums like yeah sounds great then I started to dial in the guitar sound like what works in the mix obviously I changed maybe the bass has a little bit little bit that but you know I always try to capture the sound I'm looking for so I don't have to do pretty much nothing in the mix except find a balance maybe highlight sound frequencies so I ended up boosting a little bit of 8k and taking out some 4k upper mid and tiny amount of 500 when I did the final mix but we're talking like 0 0.5 1, 1 dB correction so that it didn't really change the sound but uh, just that it works great and like Marshall Amps 800 Plexi and, and Friedman's and like this one they just work in the mix because there is that bite there's not insane amounts of low end rumble in, not insane amounts of gain it just works Dave Friedman really knows what he's doing I, I must say I don't have any Friedman amps but I've used a, I used a BE head on my first solo album Easy Does It worked great so you know almost forgot the Klee channel has also a three-way bright switch so now I'm on the and I have been on the left side which is my favorite <laughs> In channel the channel one let's go to center a lot darker the right is the brightest but I feel the I like the left one the most anyway Conclusion, I think this is absolutely fantastic device, you know, straight in, there's tubes, no latency, you get the feel when you're playing with a real tube amp. And since this is a preamp, you can of, of course put this on the effect loop of, of a your amplifier head or into a power amp and run that into a cabinet, but I think the main purpose at least the way I would use is just like I would use now if I want to use my cabinet and you know want to create lots of noise then I use my you know big amplifiers and cabinets but uh yeah this is great great job Friedman and thank you Musics for letting me borrow this link in the description to music site you know where you can purchase this and also to Friedman's site if you want to find more information. Thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Bye.